when you're in Mongolia, you have to look at the names of the areas. And it's called Selket, which means on English, windy mountains. Windy mountains has the highest potentials. In Mongolia, normally the wind has five to six meters per second highest. But in, especially in this region, it has 8,5 meters per second average. So uh, sometimes it goes more than 10, which creates a, a higher potential in this area. So well, by having the kinds of projects that we see here develop, both with domestic financing, international financing and climate finance, because the financing mix here will allow this first wind power farm to be established. It is a pioneering introduction to the energy mix. We have often spent billions of dollars in mainstreaming new technologies. Here is a chance not only to build an energy supply for Mongolia that is renewable, but indeed the energy markets of China, of Japan, of the Asian supergrid are literally around the corner. And Mongolia already has a proven wind power potential of 300,000 megawatts. That is just for wind. 11 gigawatts of solar potential in the Gobi Desert. The smart grid, the regional grid, will potentially allow Mongolia to become a major electricity generating economy and exporting economy. And the more we can assist the countries such as Mongolia, both through its domestic entrepreneurs, the government policy and legislation, to develop the infrastructure to become a major energy producer in the 21st century without a CO2 footprint, the better the world is off and the better Mongolia will be off. So it's a great place to celebrate World Environment Day 2013 and I hope an inspiration to many other countries and communities.